Hey cats, it's just Uncle Larry coming at you. Little Tommy on a Sunday. Just checking in. Um, I wanted to uh, show you how I make a make a loop, okay? This might be long and boring, so if you don't if you don't want to hang around for a while and, and and watch this process, then you should go watch some other video, okay? So I was just thinking that. I wanted to do something to plan this uh, this old Rickenbacker lap steel, you know? So I was just thinking, I'll make a loop where I can play a little bit with this, right? And uh, so the first thought was, what kind of stuff would I want to play on this, right? So I, I got the guitar, goofed around for a minute, and sort of got a vibe of what I wanted to do with it. And so I'm just going to try to build the loop so I can do a cool little lap steel solo for you, okay? Uh, I don't know, for some reason I'm feeling uh, C minor today, so I got the old telly out. Um, I'll put a little telly on and a little bass and uh, should have something together so I could do a little slap steel thing for him. Let's see what's going on, I have no signal. Well, that would be why. You know how the jacks on the tellies are weird. You should never use an angled plug like I'm doing. It's it goes against everything we should do with, with guitars. Okay, uh, I was thinking something like this. Let's see. tired of 4-4. Four, four. So here we come. I'm going to try to get this. Can I have this little idea for a B section too? Let's see. Don't ever write something you can't play. All right, so here we go. I'm going to try to loop this. Ready? behind it and I'll overdub that. Yeah, I'll just do that. I'll just do like little rhythm chords behind that bit because it'll be too hard to play all at once. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to redo that. Stop that. Erase. Okay, here we go. 
Take two of the looper. I told you this was going to be long and boring. Well, here we go. end it on a weird chord right okay so that's cool that'll work now now let's get trippy okay I'm gonna get like a like a trippy sound to go over the uh, the top of this let's see using the EQ Every delay you got, let's see. Mellotron pedal comes in handy for things like that. Okay, so let's see what happens. So, let's see what happens. I'll start goofing around with something to put on track two here. Not recording yet, just goofing around.
Let's see if the rhythm track is savable. Tuning. Maybe a little tremolo for that bit. This time I only did two of these phrases, right? Delightfully out of tune. Like it. Okay, all right. We got a plan now. Uh, I'll do um, I'll do the tremolo diamonds during the verse bit, and then I'll turn off the tremolo and do uh, in the arpeggiated bit over top. Of it. Okay, so here we go. I did a little count off on here, so I know what I'm doing. Well, I don't really know what I'm doing, but here we go. from that. softer this time so it's not so overpowering I'll put a harmony on that later what was that weird chord again That's cool. Okay. All right, we're good there. So now let's goof around with the second electric part. I'll try to do a harmony to this bit. Okay. I'll turn the Mellotron off for this. Maybe get a little more stinging tone. We'll be a harmony for that. Okay, so we'll let's tune up a little bit still. A little bit out of tune. I don't really care about tuning anymore, as you guys probably can tell from my videos. I'm so tired of tuning guitars. I wonder if I'm gonna get back all those hours I spent tuning guitars when I get to heaven. You think I will? I always wonder about that. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. Try to do some trippy harmony bits to the B section, okay? Tuning guitar now. Okay, here we go, ready? 
just gonna rehearse this. I got two tracks down so far. I'll save that for the lap steel. Maybe about some, how about some, uh, Okay, cool. All right, I need another beer. Hang on one second. Hey. Ah! Hang on a second, guys. We gotta get a beer from the corporate fridge. Heineken. This is gonna be amazing. I already like this part. gonna be cool all right see most guys oh, there's that, there's that jack again. most guys are smart enough to have their own home studio most of the session guys around here have killer studios in their house see Larry doesn't all, all Larry has is a looper pedal I used to have a cool studio it's gonna be a cool part okay we're here you always know it when something's working man. that's the thing about about doing overdubs like when you got to force it on there and it doesn't you got to work too hard to get it to get it to work you know it's not the right part that just came together in two seconds i had to find, I just had to find the right notes instead of going i had to change it to so during the a section to this i'm free to just add a couple of weird little textures right because most of the rhythm's already being held down, so let's just see what happens. I'll get a little brighter tone for this. I might add a few bends and weird things just on the go down. Here we go, all right? Ooh, that didn't work. Erase that and start again. Here we go. Don't want to be doing too much of that because that's what the lap steel is going to be doing, right? Back 
the rhythm. got to end on a weird chord. That's my rule. Okay, so now a little bass, right? Bass would be cool. Ah, sorry, sorry about that. So, the part of the looper thing that's hard is getting the bass tone through a Princeton, right? You gotta turn all the effects off, right? First of all. Turn the tone way down like all the hipsters do. And you gotta tune up. This is my son's jazz bass. Like a late 80s kind of deal. I'm trying to get a real kind of deep, fuzzy, kind of warm, woolly tone for this. Through a little 10 inch speaker. I played bass in bands in Cleveland for, for years. I was, the only gigs I could get were bass gigs because all the guitar gigs were taken. So uh, I had to play bass, um, but I love playing bass. Let's turn the verb off too. I'm just gonna rehearse to see what kind of level we got going with this stuff with the bass, okay? Here we go. That low A flat was too low, did you hear that? like McCartney. You don't need much, just real simple stuff. Seems like the tone's working. Level seems right. Heineken's cold. Mm-hmm. Oh, here we go. Bass track, take one. Thank you. 
know he's got to have a weird card at the end. All right. That works. All right. So now let's try this left steel business. Let me put this, let me put this thing down. This is a killer old uh, Rickenbacker. I bought this exact one like Dan Auerbach has in his studio because when we use it to overdub, it sounds incredible. This is the best sounding lap steel I've ever heard in my life. Sadly, the camera angle is not gonna show, uh, be able to show us what we're doing here, but that's all right, you get the idea. Let's get a little effects going. Thirty pots. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Okay, so that I, I have this thing standard, regular uh, Spanish tuning. You know, no, no funny business. You know. Stevens bar. Okay, let's see what we got. I know this guitar is a little loud. It might overpower the take a little bit. So I'm gonna turn this volume down on the no balls a little bit. First, we're gonna rehearse, make sure we're Got a nice level. Let's see what we got. Tone seems to be working, right? So I'm gonna have to record this. This is just gonna be a solo. So I'll take one take at it, and this video is 30 minutes already. So I'll take one shot at this, mistakes and all. And you'll see how Uncle Larry builds a loop in under 35 minutes, right? Here we go. This is gonna be take one of the lap steel performance. Okay, here we go.
Okay, guys, there you go. Loops while you wait. Thanks for watching.